we have just left the hotel at Pangboche and now leaving towards Namche Bazaar it will take like 45 hours but before Namche Bazaar we are planning to go to or to stay at Tangbuche for Tangbuche for lunch uh, we have just started our journey it's been just 10 minutes hardly so let's see what comes ahead yeah it's unloaded not jacks this time but boxes I think As usual, it's been like 30 minutes since I took off from the hotel and we are now crossing this beautiful steel bridge. These bridges are common to so the this region. Uh, actually, not from the this region but from the flight to Namche. This is the first one. Making the scenes absolutely wonderful. So, after the train go for around one and a half hours, I have reached Tangbuche. You can see the big hotel in front of me. Tompa and this is the monastery it is thought to be the, the biggest monastery in the Everest region if I'm not wrong in Thangbuche second was in Komjung where we have visited last week it seems to be quite big Yeah. Hmm. Very big. Let me show you the interview. It's opening time. It's morning seven to evening five. Yeah. Hmm. This is the entrance gate uh, We have the building inside It's quite big Yeah Spin some wheels Like Yeah, it's quite warm, quiet mountains around us and that was the way we have taken from Pangbuche to here, Tangbuche. Up there is Pangbuche, and when we went up to the 
average base camp area. We took that way. We did not take this way, the Thangbuche one, which I have just tracked up. So today we also covered the new way, which is a good thing to explore. Good scenes all around. There's a big wheel of leg inside. Lovely views. And we'll have our lunch in Tangbuche. Then we'll start a trekking to Namche. Two and a half more hours, maybe, or three hours. We'll see you then. Bye bye. So we have just left Tangbuche after having our lunch and making our way down to. Namche. You could see the dense forest is following us all the way down. It did take like three and a half hours more to get to Namche. <clears throat> See you then. So, after coming down from Tenguche, and uh, I would say it's a very tough go down trek. You have to Take a great care of your knees while coming down because it's steep. And there's a check post where you tourists are supposed to enter their permit or show their permit to the authorities and then they can go all the way down. Shooty houses there to enjoy. <laughs> Cloud cover as well in front of us but not that dense, not that Huge 